Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Since beginning of December Volkswagen has posted two messages on the Volkswagen ID Drivers Club Facebook group and so this is for the first movers in the beginning and now it's the ID Drivers Club and if you're not a member of this club I will show you uh, what they posted it's about the 3.0 over the air update the first one is from December 5th. We have last week we informed you about the last status of the current ID software 3.0 over the air update wave. Now that we have analyzed the result of the current wave, we would like to inform you about the next steps as promised. We will start an additional ID software 3.0 over the air wave for those who registered for the I want over the air action via email but were not able to be included in the previous wave. So uh, a few weeks, two, three weeks before this, um, if you are a member of this group, you could send an email I want over the air. And then uh, uh, Volkswagen looked through all the configurations of those car and wanted as many uh, different configurations as possible to send out the update to see what works and does not work. And if, for example, uh, 50 people rode in with the exact same configuration, not all 50 got the got the update. We have noticed that a few vehicles can currently not be supplied with over the air updates due to a certain hardware composition. We are working on a service solution for these vehicles. What does that mean? It means that some cars don't get the over the air update and it looks like that Walter, my ID3, is one of those and we're working on a service solution means that they should be updated at the workshop but there's also been some speculation that maybe it does work I don't know yet, we'll see the above mentioned ID software wave is planned to start in December 22. We will soon provide you with detailed information about the start of the upcoming wave as well as tips for successfully installing the update. Next one. Dear all, the rollout of the next uh, will start this week. This was posted yesterday. So I'm guessing on Monday. Um, within the next few days you will receive a confirmation via email as soon as your ID is ready to receive the update. So you get an email, hey, you will get the 3.0 update soon and then uh, the download at some point should start. I got this email in the very, very first week when the update should have started but Walter did not work with the stuff. As promised and based on your feedback please find a few helpful tips and tricks for an easier installation process below. Once you have received a notification in the infotainment system that a new software update is available please keep in mind the following tips. Ensure a minimum state of charge of at least 50% when parking your ID. A stable mobile connection, at least two bars 4G, must be established at the beginning of your trip and when parking your car. The charging cable must not be plugged in before and during the installation process. Your ID must be enrolled in the WeConnect account, WeConnect ID, that's uh, other, uh, without this you cannot receive the update anyways. Um, and then in case you receive the notification software update available in the infotainment system but the installation button does not appear, please check again if all previous tips have been considered. If so, you can trigger the installation button to appear by, the following, by following these steps. Leave and lock the car for at least 15 minutes, we know that. We've didn't done this a lot uh, with our IDs with certain things. With the keys out of the car's reach, then go back to the car. After entering the car, do not press the brake pedal. Instead, please wait at least 90 seconds before turning on the ignition using the ignition button behind the steering wheel. This has to do that uh, a module that, that does this, um, not everything should start at the same time. It, the starting process should be natural in, 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 um, in steps. That's why you have to do that. Then wait again for at least 90 seconds before turning off the ignition. You should now, now find the update available button in the exit panel. If your ID tells you to close all windows, please follow these steps. Open all windows. Now close one window after another. Each time a window is closed, shortly release and then pull again the window switch. Okay? 
Um, the, uh, these tips and tricks will continue to be expanded over time. Thanks for your feedback. Uh, our updates are designed in a way where you as the owner decide when to start the installation. Please remember that due to the holiday season, roadside assistance may be limited. So please keep that in mind when choosing a time slot for the installation. This is important because there's a small number of cars when the software is being installed, the car does not work. The installation process did not work correctly and then you can't do anything. You cannot unlock, you cannot drive. The car is just a brick. There's nothing you can do. It has to be towed and the car in, at the dealership has to be flashed again. That happens. I don't know how many times that happened so far, but it did happen. Hopefully it will get better. But these are the tips that they gave and the information Hopefully you are one of those people receiving 3.0 so we can move on to 3.1 at some time. Um, again, I don't have it yet and I don't know if I will get it or I have to go to a, a local dealer and get it installed there or maybe I can wait for 3.1 because 3.1 uh, is more interesting to me than 3.0. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.